So guys, these Fulani headers who are protesting against the arrest of their leaders have told Tinubu that if he does not release their leaders, they are warning him of the repercussion that may come from their radical members. A voice heard and known that the Nigerian security agencies should without further delay free and release unconditionally Bello uh, Bodejo, the president of Miete Allah. Because up until now, his families were not granted access to visit him. Now we've been, we are just coming out from the court and the case has been adjourned to 22nd of March. We hope and pray that before then they will release him because he is not, he is not a criminal, he has no criminal record, he will not run away and leave this country. So if not because of the failure of our security agencies, there are bandits in the forest who they should have gone after, who are carrying arms, but it is defenseless individuals they are going after. This is worrisome and this shows that they are not even prepared. Why they did not bring him to court today is because they have even failed to establish a prima she case against him. That is the major reason. So they must release him unconditionally because we are peace-loving people. We came here peacefully, we, make, we deliver our message peacefully and we do not intend to cause havoc or cause any violence. But if we are pushed to the wall, we don't know what some of our radical members might do. So it is incumbent on the Nigerian government and the security agencies to, without further delay, release Bello Bordejo unconditionally. Uh, my Lord has given the uh, Office of Attorney General an uh, instruction to make sure they file a charge. So guys, I was very shocked listening to this man saying that they don't know what their radical members may do. So this association know they have radical members and they've made no effort to de-radicalize them. That's the kind of Nigeria we are living today. So guys, in case you don't know, the president of this Fulani association once raised a group, a group, a vigilante group. And because of that, he was arrested. So he has been arrested for a while. I think more than one month now. Now his members are here protesting that he should be released. But it beats my imagination listening to them saying that if he's not released, well, they don't know what their radical members might do. Indirectly, they are telling their radical members to go on attack should their leader not be released. So let me allow you to watch this video for just for you to understand what is happening in Nigeria. Members of the Mieti Allah Kotolahore on Wednesday staged a protest at the Federal High Court, Abuja, to demand the unconditional release of their detained president, Bello Bodejo. The protesters who carried a big banner with the inscription, Free Bello Bodejo, gathered at the entrance gate of the High Rise Court to press home their demands. Other members of the group also carried placards that read, DIA, Free Bodejo now, Release Bodejo. Comrade Kabir Mutazu, who spoke on behalf of the group, said his arrest and detention was unlawful. According to him, in a democratic society, the rule of law is the building block. And I come here to collaborate with my fellow brothers, the Nyeti Allah Kautetori, in respect of the president who has been, who was supposed to be arraigned today in court. We should know that his arrest and detention was illegal and unlawful. And we must know that we are a democratic society and in a democratic society rule of law is the building block for democratic rule you cannot arbitrarily arrest individual without proper charge without even arraigning him in court that's why we have gathered our members from across the country to come here to agitate and also make our voice heard and known that the nigerian security agencies should without further delay free and release unconditionally uh, Bello Bodejo, the president of Mieti Allah, because up until now his families were not granted access to visit him. Now we've been, we are just coming out from the court, and the case has been adjourned to 22nd of March. We hope and pray that before then they will release him, because he is not, he is not a criminal. He has no criminal record. He will not run away and leave this country. So if not because of the failure of our security agencies, there are bandits in the forest who they should have gone after, who are carrying arms, but it is defenseless individuals they are going after. This is worrisome, and this shows that they are not even prepared. Why they did not bring him to court today is because they have even failed to establish a prima case against him. That is the major reason. So 
they must release him unconditionally because we are peace loving people. We came here peacefully, we make we deliver our message peacefully, and we do not intend to cause havoc or cause any violence. But if we are pushed to the wall, we don't know what some of our radical members might do. So it is incumbent on the Nigerian government and the security agencies to without further delay release Bella Badejo unconditionally. Uh, my Lord has given the uh, Office of Attorney General an uh, instruction to make sure they file a charge before the Sunday court. We have a bail application in, uh, which is in compliance with the provision of administration of uh, Criminal Justice Act. The law allows us to file uh, a bail before they arraign him before the court. So my Lord gave them an order, gave them chances like two or three times for them to make sure they file the charge within time. Today we are in court. While the court was sitting, they serve us with a, a, a single charge. And the charge is not, uh, is one count charge. Actually, the charge is, is talking about him establishing an, an association. They name it as Queen Kian Zaman Life And you know, meaning of Queen Kian Zaman Life and Hausa is an association uh, that encourages peaceful coexist, uh, coexistence in society. Uh, even at that, they have not served the court, they have not shown cause before the court why the matter should not go to the hearing. So, my Lord graciously allowed us to move our application for bail, pending arraignment, and the matter is uh, adjourned for ruling, which is coming up uh, on the 22nd of this month. So, we are very grateful for the judicial system for saving our client from the illegal detention. He has been in detention now for 53 days. 53 days since when he was arrested, and no single charge was filed against him, only for them to serve us with a, a single charge today in the court and which does not disclose any offense. The charge is not accompanied by proof of evidence, no statement, nothing, nothing. It's just uh, two or three pages of uh, the count itself. There is no uh, accompanying uh, evidence as required by law. So we are grateful for what happened in the court, and uh, we believe uh, the applicant will get justice in this matter. Yes, I, I believe in judicial system, and that's what I'm just telling the gathering now, that, uh, of course, uh, Moving around with placards does not does not constitute violence, but in a situation whereby courts courts showed you that justice will be done, then you have to do it peacefully to make sure that the court is appreciated. Because a court sitting to call you to allow you to uh, to to take uh, to move your motion for bail means the court is ready to admit the, uh, the applicant to bail. So we are very grateful. We have confidence in this court, and we believe justice will be done to this case. Thank you so much. The news agency of Nigerian reports that Justice Inyang Eko of a federal high court had on March 5 fixed today for the hearing of Bodiger's motion on notice, seeking his unconditional release from the Defense Intelligence Agency's custody. Justice Eko had on February 22 given the federal government seven days to file a charge against the detained Bodiger. The judge gave the order following the expiration of the earlier order, which granted the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation approval to remand Bodejo for 15 days in the custody of DIA pending the conclusion of his investigation. The motion was dated and filed on February 5 by M. B. Abubakar, Director of Public Prosecutions of the Federation in the Office of the AGF and Minister of Justice. In the affidavit deposed to by Norma Wundo, a litigation officer in the ministry, he said Bodejo was arrested on January 23 in Malia, Nasarawa State, and was in custody. Wando said that his arrest was predicated on the alleged raising up of an armed militia to the detriment of the nation's unity, contrary to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So guys, we look forward to seeing how Tinubu is going to be handling all this Fulani radicalization and all that. We all know that so many lives have been taken by this group and up to today, you can't count on any of the Fulanis held in any of the jails in Nigeria because they are seen as sacred cows. The kind of weak leadership we have in Nigeria, where else do you expect these kind of things to happen if not in places like Nigeria? So you can imagine these people telling Tinubu that if he does not release their member, that their radical people might revenge. That is exactly what they are saying. And possibly this person who is speaking this will not be arrested. So it has gotten to the point where we have a whole lot of lapses in the system. I mean lapses. The president, they, oh, those in leadership, they are not showing any level of strength in them. I just hope 
that you know things are being done rightly so in case you don't know the president has ordered the state governors to release land for these fulani headers you know to start reeling their car their, their cattle but like in the southeast there's this group that has come up to kick against that because the southeast has possibly the shortest or possibly the smallest size of land mass you know in nigeria so they are saying we don't even have land not to talk of uh, having extra to give to the fulanis there are a whole lot of land empty land uncultivated land in the north they should use it and get a kind of support from you know from the government in terms of I irrigation or like making sure they have enough water for their cattle and also for their farm so guys i don't know what you think about all this let me know what you think in the comment section below but honestly the nigerian leadership has to stand up and prove that it is there for the nigerian people drop your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe thank you